Hello everybody, welcome to my project management session and I would like to talk today about possibility to deliver projects successfully. First of all, I would like to say one thing. Many times my colleagues, my friends, my project team members, my bosses, leaders, board members ask me one question why we have a problem to deliver our projects successfully. My answer is the same again, 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 because of planning, proper planning. Of course, there are other uh, things very important as well, but the first, the most important thing is planning. Planning is about project charter. It means about preparation of project, approval of project, and project start. Maybe you don't agree, logically, because you have your own experience and maybe you have a different opinion. That's normal, that's perfect, because only if we have different opinions, we can improve ourselves. But let me continue. Why I think that planning is the most important thing that can influence whether we are able or not to deliver our projects successfully. First of all, we have to realize what successfully mean. means. Successfully, in my opinion, means that we are able to deliver our project on time, within budget, to the expected quality. The first thing, on time, we have to realize as it is. I assume that everybody knows that mainly 90% of projects we will never be able to deliver as was planned in the beginning, according to the original time plan. Logically, because there are many changes. But on time means that project is delivered on time according to the agreement. In the beginning, we have a project charter, for example, that is uh, the first document that we have to have prepared and finally approved by steering committee or something like that, some decision body. And based on this, we are going to start to deliver our project. But if we have any changes and we manage our project properly, we can have some additional approval. For example, if you have a new change request or something was changed because of resources, because of new requirements, I don't know what, some, some obstacles occurred. And I assume that you as me, like me, try to have approval for every change in the project that is made by steering committee or some decision body that is defined to do it. Because you as a project manager have only some competency and mind you have a responsibility, but to say accountability. And on time means that delivered on time, on the last agreed time, according to, for example, the last prepared schedule. Written budget is a similar situation because in the beginning we had to approve some budget, but normally if we have any new change, logically, we can assume that if we have new change, we will ask for additional budget, of course. Then this uh, original project budget will be increased. And the same is about quality, finally because we will deliver more functionalities. Okay, we agreed what successfully means. It means that we are able to deliver our project with an agreed budget to the expected quality on time, according to the agreed time plan. But what is the biggest thing that can really influence it? In my opinion, it is planning. Planning, because only based on proper planning, we can expect or predict, to be honest, everything finally. But logically, many times we are not able to plan everything precisely, in detail, 
but what is true i'm sure it's true because it is my experience we can cover everything even though we don't know everything because if we have some uncertainty we can cover it by a risk or by some issue if it is occurred we can plan everything if we try to use every project management tool in addition we have to remember that planning must be done not only by project manager but by a core team core team is about people who are really experienced and skilled and can help us to cover every area of our project not only functionality not only knowledge not only technology but finance as well resource planning as well and other important and relevant areas if we have established core team the core team the proper core team that is able to cover every area that is necessary for proper planning then we can start to plan it remember another thing planning is not about one hour planning is not about one day planning is about more days because we have to really think about everything as for planning i have a one special advice that i use i try to focus on everything from the end backwards it means what is the last activity of the project for example if i am a supplier the last activity is transfer of money from account of the customer to my account what must be done before i have to have invoice invoice can be done only if you have an acceptance protocol acceptance protocol must be uh, signed and approved and when it is approved when we deliver something and how etc 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 based on this we can prepare every step that must be done before project finished this is my approach this is this is this is my my advice maybe you've got another opinion maybe better i don't know but i try to plan it from the beginning and any kind any kind of um, possibility i i tried to use but finally i finished with this approach i plan everything from the end and the next step regarding planning proper planning is be able to allow to everybody from our core team to say true his or her opinion it means don't push them don't limit them allow them to talk how they think about it we need to know what they exactly think what they exactly know because if we really will push these people that this project must be done because of time pressure maximum in five months for example they will be they will not be able to say to us any relevant and valuable information for planning remember your project team especially in the stage when we are planning it your core team must be able must be able means you allowed them to do it and they are able to do it they have to be able to say their opinion because this is the the, the most important thing opinion of experts and then you can play game with it you can negotiate you can ask them if we for example this and what will happen if we this but remember again every game has some rules you are manager project manager you have to have it under control and negotiate with everybody but manage everybody you are finally accountable for the delivery of this project if you will not allow to your experts to say true finally you will have a problem because you will be the last person who will report problems in your project yes as i said the session is about the question how we can deliver our project successfully and as i said in my opinion it is mainly about proper planning
What do you think about it? Maybe you've got a better idea. Please write it down to the comments and then we can discuss it in detail. Maybe some webinar, maybe some call, maybe some discussion. Thank you very much for watching me. Have a nice day.